Welcome to Home Appetit. I'm Eva and this is my Aunt Alicia. And today we're doing a healthier version of gyoza. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have a turkey and veggie gyoza. Once again, we're doing our Asian inspired cuisine this month. Next month, stay tuned for Italian. But for today, we're gonna to finish up our Asian cuisine with gyozas, which is a pan fried dumpling. And we're gonna stuff it with, with veggie and turkey and it's gonna be delicious. We're also going to make our own gyoza sauce. everyone so we're gonna start with our turkey we actually have a three pound container of turkey but we only need one pound of turkey so I'm gonna just kind of eye it here I'm gonna do a little bit more than a pound and we're gonna throw it into our mixing bowl and then the rest of the turkey you could just freeze for a later date so I'm gonna put that to the side all right so you can see here that we have our one pound of turkey in here and I'm gonna go ahead and just mix it up okay so now we're gonna add all of our ingredients. We showed you the ingredients earlier, just the whole picture of all the ingredients. Now we're gonna tell you how much goes in and we also already chopped everything just for efficiency's sake. So the first thing we're gonna throw in here is we have uh, about a cup here of our uh, green onion, I'm sorry, half a cup. Half a cup of green onion. So we're just gonna throw all of that green onion into our turkey mix. We also have about three, you could do two, it depends on how much garlic you like. We're garlic people. So we're doing three cloves of garlic that we have actually pressed. So you're gonna have to have a garlic press. If you don't have a garlic press, you can always just chop it up really, really, really small. Put all that in there. We are adding carrots because we want this to be like a veggie inspired uh, gyosa. So we are gonna add some chopped carrots here. This is about a cup. And the carrots. And lastly here, for the veggies, we have cabbage, about two cups of cabbage. Remember that cabbage, when it cooks, it really shrinks down a lot, so you have to do extra cabbage. So we're doing two cups of that. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this together and then we're gonna add in some of our uh, oils in our sauces. Okay, so once we have our veggies and meat mixed in, we're gonna add some of the oils. We have one tablespoon of sesame oil and the one tablespoon of soy sauce. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt and pepper. Once I have everything in there, I'm going to mix it all up. So, our filling is done. And now, we are going to start making and assembling the dumplings, or the gyoza. So, we want to take a little spoon, tiny spoonful of the filling. You don't want too much, or else you can't close it. And then, take some water and put it all around the edges. And then you fold it in half. Moderately close all the edges, make sure there's no holes or gaps. And then you're gonna make a little So here we have our um, gyozas that we have made. So you can obviously do whatever pattern you want on the top. Just make sure they're really, really sealed so that they don't leak out and cook wrong and get all greasy. So now what we're gonna do is we have to actually pan fry these. So we're gonna come over here and we are going to put our heat up to medium high. And we are gonna add about a tablespoon of oil and let that really heat up. 
You want it to be nice and hot, so when you put the little gyosas in, they start to um, pan fry immediately. batch that you're going to do, you are going to keep adding one tablespoon and then I'll show you the water in a minute. Okay, and let's let that heat up. And as soon as that's heated, we are going to throw our gyoza in there. Okay, so my oil is starting to pop a little bit so I know it's ready. You don't want these to touch each other, so you want to make sure they stay separate. So we're going to go ahead and take our little dumplings here. Place them right down. We're gonna make sure they have some room. You can hear that sizzle. Move them a little bit. Add another one there. All right, and that's one batch right there. And we are going to just let these go for about three to four minutes. After that, we're gonna add our water and cover it. I don't have a lid, so I actually just use foil. We've kind of created our own foil lid here. So we're gonna put this over for another three to four minutes to cook that meat through. And that's it. And we'll show you how to make the sauce after. All right, everyone. So you can already see it's been about two to three minutes. These are browning perfectly. Look how beautiful that is. So that's the kind of brown you want to have on this one side. You are not going to flip it over. What you do is you only um, brown the one side. Now we're going to add our water in and steam the rest. So you're just going to add the water right in here. take them off they're a little so you see how they're a little bit um, steamed and kind of gooey on top but the bottom is still nice and brown so we're gonna go ahead and take these all off you may need to give it a little scrape so next we're gonna make our sauce all right everyone so last part that we have to do is make our sauce so it's kind of like a vinegary soy sauce it's delicious so what we're gonna do, I've cut up one garlic clove here. I've just chopped it. It's gonna add a little bit of flavor, so we're gonna add that in first. Then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of soy sauce. <laughs> Gary. Gary said three tablespoons. All right, so there's our two tablespoons. We're going to, okay, bye. Then we're going to do teaspoons. So two teaspoons of sesame oil. I'm gonna start with one, because sesame oil is pretty strong. So let's start with one. We can always add more. And then let's also add just one of our vinegar, because that's also very strong. Like I said, we can always add more. It's very much a taste test that you do here. And then what I like to do, and this is completely optional, but I like a little bit of sweetness, like a sweet and tangy soy sauce. So what I do is I add just a pinch of brown sugar here, and that's just gonna give it a little bit of a sweet taste. A little pinch -a -roo. There we go. That's all you need, just a little bit. I'm gonna give it a good mix. Should be nice to bring that a spoon. Okay. 
and then we'll give it a taste. So let's see. What I like to do is just I take the spoon and dip it in. Definitely needs more vinegar. Actually pretty good. Just a little bit more vinegar and a little bit more sugar for me. All right, let's give that a taste. Perfection. Delicious. Okay, so now we have our dipping sauce. We have our cookiosas. We're going to find people to eat them so we can see what their reaction is. All right, so here it is, and I'm going to take it over here. It's okay. I'm going to take it over here to my sister, and she's going to try it out. Good. Mm -hmm. Delish. And there it is, my friends. Wonderful gyoza's beautiful sauce. Enjoy.